are you doing, Wiggly Pop? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, VW Nut Garage. This is my puppy dog, Patina. Thank you guys for coming here. You guys are looking at my 1967 bug. What happens to be what this video is about. Um, I thank you guys for being here. This is, like I said, the VW Nut 1967 channel on YouTube. Um, I drive this car a lot this time of year, and uh, I'm pretty particular about the way it runs. It, right now, it's not running up to my standards. So today, we're going to start by taking the carburetor off and seeing what kind of junk is in the carburetor. Uh, I was talking to my friend Musty1 and he said uh, I should add a washer to um, the needle and seat because to him it sounded like maybe it was flooding over a little bit. Um, so we'll do some of that. Uh, we'll check all the jets and things and uh, we'll get going from there. First things first, I got to turn the car around so I can get to the back of it and uh, that's where we're going to start. Well, we're looking inside the uh, engine compartment in the 1967 bug. Um, going after the carburetor, like I said. So, I thought I'd just bring you guys uh, with me. And uh, I have uh, a couple of videos. I think when I was learning how to take care of this carburetor, I think I did a series of three or four videos on um, Ruby's carburetor. Um, so, I won't bore you in complete detail with the carburetor removal. Just take the, I just took the air cleaner off, um, unplugging the electrical bits, pop the cap out of the way. Uh, they make a curvy wrench, a C or an S wrench. Um, I'm always on the lookout for one, and usually I get them, um, or should get one. But we, uh, we're going to start by uh, cutting off the fuel. So we're going to shut off the fuel here. My very custom fuel shut off gizzy. Off. I always feel like the dentist when I'm sliding around in this chair, wheeling around. Okay. Got the fuel out of the way, vacuum line, try not to stab myself in the finger, nice. 10 millimeter barrel nut for the throttle cable, you know, the throttle cable, maybe it's eight, I don't remember which, it's eight, not ten, for the record. All right, that's out of there. Put that anywhere. Uh, regular old 13. Regular old 
All right, we'll get this over to the bench and we'll get you guys set up and we'll get to looking at what damage is done in here. All right, so we're set up on the bench. I'm uh, just gonna take the top off because the needle and seat is right in here. And there's still fuel in here, so I wanna see what the fuel looks like uh, sitting in the bottom of the bowl. The car was running fine, um, just not, not as good as it should be. Um, and most of the time, but not some of the time, it's um, because of the ethanol uh, in the gas. And sometimes it could be just regular Volkswagen maintenance. I mean, it is an old car. It does need maintenance. And the spring. I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer and show you the bottom of this bowl. Alright, so we're looking down in there. Let me see. Let me get a light here, guys. I had to turn off the fluorescence because I didn't want to... Um, let me see. I'm going to wash you guys out either. But you can see the crud in the bottom of the bowl there. So we're going to get that cleaned out. Um, that's not awesome. Not horrible, but it's not awesome. Um, so we'll get that cleaned out. I'm going to add a washer underneath the um, needle and seat right there. Um, so that'll come out and then you can see that there's just a washer down there. I'm just going to add a washer. And if I come across anything else, I'll turn you guys back on. Otherwise, I'm going to listen to some music. Um, I'll leave you guys on a time lapse just in case, you know, I do something crazy like catch the bench on fire or something. So please enjoy whatever music I decided was going to be awesome for you guys. And we'll see you in a Uh, better late than never, right? I guess. Enjoy. Alright, so what you guys just seen me doing was, um, this is your accelerator pump, and this little sprayer right here, um, it sprays right down onto the plate, onto the, um, I don't know what it's called, uh, butterfly plate thingy down there, and, um, you don't want the spray to hit anything. You want it to get stuffed right down, right down the throat of the intake. Um, so you just do that by moving this. This is just pressed in there. Not a real big thing to deal with. It's just one of those tricks. Um, one of those things that most people don't do. Um, they'll just put this in and it'll bounce, you know, right off of the side or something. And the car will run fine. Uh, but for optimum performance, you want it to spray right down straight through without hitting nothing and so that's what I was lining up there um, I would have put the gloves on earlier but you know sometimes you just don't think still a little bit of garbage in there get her out of there Alright, so it's all back together. Everything looks to be spraying and doing what it should. Um, everything appears to be A-OK. -okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put her back in the car. I'll bring you guys over there so you can watch that happen. And then, of course, uh, I'll start her up. I'm going to check a couple other things, too. I'll talk to you about it once we get over there. All 
All right, so we're looking inside again. Another thing I'm going to check is the um, is my points. So I take my rotor off. It's got a little bit of garbage. We may clean that up too, just a little bit. Uh, another thing some people don't do, the, uh, the distributor shaft right here, it should have just a little bit of grease um, where the point's right on it. And then you should hardly ever need to adjust or wear out a set of points. Let me put her, uh, get her in neutral, roll her around on a fat lobe so I can get to it. I gotta get a light in here. look to be in good shape I am gonna wipe a little bit of grease on there just so as it rolls around it uh, keeps it loose. so let me get my finger in here where it's in fo focus focus close enough so it's just a little bit of grease Alright, so the points look good. Like I said, I'm going to clean up the um, distributor. Cap looks good. Alright, so we'll get to putting her back together. Um, enjoy the music. Start her up and see what happens. Hopefully, you guys got some of that at least. All right, we'll start her up. Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, let's, what do you say we take her for a ride? Come here, get up here. There we go. Patina and I both think, do you think it was a success? It was a success, yep. Um, so that was very successful. Uh, it's been a little while since I gave you guys a garden update, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Um, that's it for the uh, carburetor on my 67 bug. I would say it runs as good as it did from the factory. Uh, pulled plenty hard. Uh, idled good when I first started it before it warmed up. I thought that maybe I might want to turn the idle down uh, I still may a little bit, but it wouldn't be too much um, Not too bad. So that was very successful again, and uh, we'll go check out the garden Just in case you were wondering where Daisy is. She's right there um, 
she's right there because I need to make room to bring that in and get that fixed. That's uh, coming up in the next video is some work on my white Honda car and the snow blower, the winter stuff. I got to work on the winter stuff so when winter gets here, it's not too bad. <clears throat> All right, so the pole beans are doing their thing, climbing up the pole. You can see, you can see that they're climbing up the pole, the corn. Uh, the rule of thumb is uh, knee high by the 4th of July. It looks like we'll make that for the corn. Onions doing great. Uh, Brussels sprouts and broccoli, I think, doing okay. Um, got some lettuces coming up right in here. The lettuces are coming up. Um, potatoes, uh, very successful. Carrots are coming in. Let me show you the carrots. See the carrots right there? They're starting to come in. Um, and the, the snap peas. Holy cow, did these things go crazy. Look at these things. Out of control. Oh, and the sunflowers right behind them. Gonna have a freezer full of vegetables, that's for sure. Um, and the tomatoes. You know, we may have put them in just a little bit early, but they seem to be doing perfectly happy, all of them. And that's going to do it for the garden update, guys. Uh, go inside and see what else we get into. And of course, the strawberries. Doing fantastic for their first year. Ooh, this here even a strawberry there's even a strawberry on there a couple of them another one right there well ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for us here at the uh, VW nut garage the VW nut 1967 channel on the YouTube uh, I'd like to thank each and every one of you. Uh, if you haven't, reach down and hit the subscribe button. Feel free to do that. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, either way, I know you watched it. Uh, I drew your attention in somehow. Um, and hopefully you learned something. So uh, we'll see you in a couple of days.